Well, the FDA this morning recommended that blood centers in certain parts of the U.S., including Texas, test donations for the Zika virus. But while the tests are meant to protect patients, there's now concern over how they'll be funded. KV's Michael Perchik learned about the new process, new at six. New FDA guidelines now require blood donations be tested for Zika virus. The ruling set to go into effect in 11 states, including Texas, within the next month. Congressman Lloyd Doggett reached out to the FDA earlier this summer to testing. We cannot wait on vaccine development and on other steps to limit Zika transmission. Our labs will be overburdened with testing if we don't have the dollars and the preparation that is lacking right now. While the majority of Zika cases have been seen in different countries, recent pockets of Florida have experienced several diagnoses as well. Florida is a problem. I think it's just a matter of time before we see it here in Texas. Hopefully a long time, but with mosquito season lasting well in November, it's good the FDA is making this requirement. The new recommendations are making an impact here. Sheena Navani is the Director of Community Engagement at the Blood and Tissue Center of Central Texas. She says they've been planning for the requirement prior to Friday's announcement. We've been doing deferrals around kind of Zika risk factors, so travel, um, con sexual contact with someone who has traveled to a Zika region. Because of the new testing, those deferrals will no longer be necessary, meaning Novotny expects an increase in eligible donors. The question now revolves around the cost of the test. Novotny says that there are unsure and extra costs they'll face. They currently run 14 tests on each donation, 10 of which are for diseases. Officials don't expect any delays in sending the blood out due to the new Zika screenings. Congressman Doggett suggested testing could cost up to $10 per sample, with rates varying upon the amount of samples. He's requesting federal funding to provide reimbursement to blood centers for the testing. In Austin, Michael Perchik, KVU News.